I believe that current electronics based on the big size and high performance and huge energy consuming electronics changes paradigm to flexible, lightweight, and cell power devices that can be used in a human friendly electronics. Here's our group's achievements that one plastic substrate generating power itself and computing and communicating with others that can uh, detecting or treating the disease or even blind people can see. And First topic that I want to discuss is the cell power energy. If device generating power itself, they can be used in a implantable biomedical device and sensor network for the environment and safety and energy source for the flexible electronics and the machines. And here's uh, our group's the vision that shows that the pl one plastic substrate generating power and computing light emitting device and communication with other, and then attached to the human organs, detecting the signal and the treating the disease. How, uh, how we make uh, cell-powered devices is the thin plastic substrate. We fabricate flexible piezoelectric nanomaterial, so bending the plastic substrate or slight movement of a plastic substrate generating the power. Our device is achieved uh, 40 times higher than current world record. And by using this slight movement of human biomechanical movement can generate power enough to operate the implantable face maker, realizing cell-powered face makers. This shows that the flexible plastic substrate by bending motion can turn you on the 100 LED and then movement of uh, plastic can su supply the energy to make a uh, face maker to regulate the heartbeat to make cell-powered face maker. One plastic substrate in backside cell-powered energy devices in front, flexible gallium arsenide LED, making a fully flexible system to operate in, without outside energy sources. Uh, next slide, another demonstration of a cell power device by mixing two nanomaterials together in polymeric matrix. They can make a, a energy harvesting device that can be flexible and stretchable and slight movement of a finger and footstep can generate the power. Here demonstration shows a flexible thin film battery. Look at the, how the flexibility can we achieve with our battery and then the right image shows that the one plastic substrate implant flexible OLED, backside flexible thin film battery, so that without outside energy source, we can demonstrate the, the display. We also demonstrate the high density plastic uh, flexible uh, memory devices. We fabricate high density memnister device on glass substrate and irradiating laser from the backside. We only can transfer the top 100 nanometer high density memory on plastic substrate. We also can make a flexible computing LSI chip. On plastic subway, they are very flexible, and then they can operate the flexible display and very flexible smartwatch and using the communication tool for arti artificial retina system. As you know, Korean major industry already has the flexible display technology will be out soon. Our group also uh, licensed one of the technology and then to put our technology in a mass production line using the laser lift up of active matrix inorganic materials. Final a product that I wanted to introduce, the flexible inorganic gallium nitride and gallium arsenide LED. These materials or devices are perfect candidate for the future uh, biomedical devices that can detecting and treating the disease. So here's a summary. KAIST developed flexible energy source, flexible optoelectronic LED, high density memory, and computation and communication tool merged with a flexible display that can make a cell powered, fully flexible electronic system. Here's my question How will flexible high tech can increase quality of our life or changing our lifestyle? Please join me to discuss our future life in crazy idea. Thank you.